We walked all the way to Beverly Beach a couple days ago. It was all the way down the beach. Steve Benson and his wife were walking the beach this past Saturday here at Devil's Punch Bowl State Park. It's difficult to have a enjoyable, natural nature walk when this is under your feet. So instead of walking, they ended up spending the day picking up trash. And they did the same today. So in the past hour, we got nearly a bucket full. So probably 10 pounds. This bucket doesn't even make a dent in what litters this beach. Stuff so small that it would almost be impossible to pick it all up. You'd have to sweep it and filter it in some way like that. It's an ecologic disaster is what it is. It's, it's imagine this, the, how much reached the shore, but how much out there right now in these waves that people are surfing in that's nearly inv invisible to see. Sadly, this much trash is nothing new, especially in the winter. You'll start to get windblown dry sand that buries this part of the beach. One of park ranger Ryan Parker's duties is cleaning the trash on Oregon beaches. There are only nine others just like him up and down the coast. One of our goals is not necessarily pick up all the little pieces, but inform everyone about the issue. Instead, focusing on the bigger pieces. And there's a way to slow down this trash buildup. Humanity created the marine debris problem, and we're going to be tasked with solving it as well. If people don't even have a habit of cleaning up, then I don't think we might have much of a chance of ever getting it fixed. Now you may notice, maybe you're at a beach now and you're like, well wait, I didn't see all this trash. That's because certain beaches get more of an influx of this trash than others due to the ocean currents and the jetties and the, uh, the way the coastline is built. So, depends on where you're at. Well, it would be great to get a lot of volunteers out there cleaning it up. Thank you, Devin.